Hi, third graders. Today, we are going to review how to write a well-organized paragraph following the hamburger writing strategy. So let us begin. Now, to begin with, what is the hamburger writing model? As you can see, this is a model of a burger. Now, the hamburger model is a paragraph writing organizer that visually separates the topic sentence, body, and closing sentence. So the top one is the topic sentence, which is the main idea. The supporting details are the lettuce, the tomatoes, and the meat. They back up the topic sentence. And the concluding statement, also referred to as the closing sentence, is the bottom one. It restates the topic sentence, okay? Now we are going to talk about every single one of them in detail. So don't worry about it. Let us talk first about the topic sentence. The topic sentence is the first sentence in the paragraph. It is the main idea and it tells me what the whole paragraph is about. Let's read this topic sentence. Exercising can make you feel happy. By reading this sentence, I know that the whole paragraph is going to be about exercising and how it makes you feel. Now, moving on to the supporting details. The supporting details are sentences that back up the main idea. They come right after the topic sentence and they always begin with a transitional word. Now, the supporting details have information that help explain the topic sentence, okay? Now, let's read this paragraph together. I have learned many facts about owls. First, most owls are nocturnal, which means they hunt at night. Next, owls cannot move their eyes in the socket, so they must turn their entire head. Finally, the smallest owl is the elf owl, which is 6 inches long and has a wingspan of 15 inches. Owls are very interesting birds. Okay, did you notice that the whole paragraph is about owls? Yes. So did you notice that the supporting details are stating facts about owls? So here we backed up our topic sentence. I cannot, cannot suddenly speak about um. Peacocks, for example, no, I have to stay on topic. And my supporting details must discuss the topic sentence. Okay, now let us move on to the concluding statement. The concluding statement is the bottom bun. It should look a lot like the topic sentence and needs to summarize the topic. The most important thing about the concluding statement is that it needs to have an obvious end to the whole paragraph, okay? Owls are very interesting birds. This is an amazing concluding statement. It ended my paragraph in a proper way. I cannot, for example, end my paragraph by saying, finally, the smallest owl is the elf owl, which is six inches long and has a wingspan of 15 inches. This doesn't properly end my paragraph. However, if I say owls are very interesting birds, I ended my paragraph in a proper way. Now, let us take a look at some of, of the transitional words that we use in our writing. Transitional words and phrases link sentences and paragraphs together smoothly and highlight how ideas relate to each other. They make our writing more interesting and move it along. So, if I want to write a well-organized paragraph, I must always include transitional words. And there has to be a comma after every single transitional word, remember? Here are some examples of transitional words. I have furthermore and moreover, which are greatly used by third graders, and I'm so proud of you for using them. We also have first, second, finally, and last. These transitional words are used to order or sequence events. There is also, however, even though, alternatively, at the same time, and many more. Now I'm going to show you two sentences that use transitional words. First of all, pour a half cup of milk in the bowl. Second, add two eggs. And third, stir the mixture. Over here, I showed sequence of events. My transitional words are, first of all, second, and third. 
And did you notice there is a comma right after every single one of them? Here is another sentence. The modern American school is an excellent school that engages the students with an interactive platform called the Unified Classroom. Moreover, it links every topic that the students learn to real-world experiences. Over here, I use the traditional word moreover to add details about my paragraph. Now, lastly, I'm going to show you this sample paragraph that uses the main elements of the hamburger writing strategy. While I read the paragraph, I would like you to pause at the end of every sentence and to try to guess what this sentence is whether it's a topic sentence a detail or a concluding statement so let us begin computers have completely changed our lives hmm what sentence is this well let me give you a few hints it is the first sentence in the paragraph and it is telling me what the whole paragraph is about well done to the ones who said that it is the topic sentence. Good job, sweethearts. Moving on to the second sentence here. First, transportation, water, electricity, and other things that make for convenience have greatly been improved by computers. Hmm. This sentence came right after the topic sentence, and it started with a transitional word, which is first. So this is the first supporting detail well done second the business model has changed from the physical store to an online platform for a transaction so here is the second supporting detail and it started with the transitional word second third medical care has greatly been improved thanks to the inception of computers in the health sector so here is my third supporting detail Eventually, computers come into every family and effectively influence our usual life. Here is the last detail. I can add up to five detail, details in my paragraph, sweethearts. These were some of the important effects of computer technology on our lives, and the effects are continuing. The last sentence in the paragraph is called the concluding statement. It summarizes the whole paragraph and it ends my paragraph in a nice way. Not to forget that the concluding statement restates the topic sentence. Well done, sweetheart. I'm always so proud of you and keep up the good work.